Look at this, Frank. This is amazing. I mean, there's probably some places in Ireland like this. I mean, because you've got Newgrange Visit Centre and stuff like that. But people are saying, actually, people on the main ancient sites groups, like the Irish Megalithic Research Group, that's got loads of people, members, massive member list, they're even actually saying that they're upset about Newgrange, the entrance is false, and then I saw some photos of them building it. It's not even, like, real, and it's kind of being overdressed to actually what it really was. People have been asking, you know, what did it look like? What was it actually really look like um, originally? You know, because they've been showing us the old, old, old furs. Look, look at this Berrycroft Hub place, right? Um, we had an amazing time at Buster Ancient Farm celebrating their Beltane Festival recently. It was the first public appearance for Berrycroft Hub's uh, version of the Shaman of Bad Durenberg based on Calcius's painting. Um, blah, 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 it was swamped by visitors. They're doing really well, this Berry Croft Hub place. They're getting a lot of business and a lot of um, people going there. Look, they're doing... Um, they've got... Um, you know about the, they've got like loads of university people there. Stone Age Zone, Dr. Theresa Emmerich Camper, University of Exeter, demonstrating how tan skins prepare historic clothing... All over the Bronze Age was Neil Burridge of Bronze Age Swords, busy inspiring the next generation of metal workers, um, more workshops. Um, you, they, like, stripped down a whole deer, um, which I thought was quite interesting. It's funny that it's called Berrycroft Hub, and it kind of makes you think of berries and foraging and nature and natural foods. I think foraging in the woodland is a great way to utilise... It's a good excuse to maintain and have woodlands and even rewild if you're going to have foraging in there. But all these centres, I mean, where, where... If you're going to do a project like this, or if anyone's going to do something like this project, right, and if anyone is going to do foraging, right, like what they do in the Forest of Dean, it seems to me, right, the place where you would do it if you're going to do it anywhere, is why not have these type of places, right, near where the ancient sites are that you want to protect? Because then you are protecting the actual ancient sites, environment and surroundings with something in context to its original um, era and it protects the wider area to keep it in that environment without modern encroaching on it now you might like the combination of modern that's what I'm worried about though because the council look they've got a wicker man they burned a wicker man here as well the thing with the council is right like one of the councillors said you know what is the end game is the end game of DLR Council and the people of Ireland to do they want actually of all things to have a massive modern apartment block with people who can peer out of the window and look down into an ancient crack a virile ancient crack with a dolmen in it for their own view oh look at the pretty dolmen down there so the 500 plus people get to look down on the dolmen into the valley and apart from them um it's no good for anyone else is that the is that progress is that what the modern world wants this cyber merging with ancient and uh, and technical you know it, that's what you get with a dolmen in a shopping center but yet the dolmens religiously there's a few with church in churches, but the reason they don't build churches around them is because then that's dumping on another ancient religious site. To me, that dolmen was selected and chosen to be in this channel, to be intimate and secluded, not to be perved on from above. And particularly if you're in it, not to look out around the edge and ruin the atmosphere of going to an ancient prehistoric site by seeing modern buildings on the horizon. Because then you're not transported back in time, are you? You're, you're, you're breaking the time barrier. 
If it's going to be female in a channel, wouldn't it be much nicer to say this is a beauty spot for the people who are in it and visiting it while you're at it and a beauty spot next to a female thing is more like a round um like like you like got a beauty like a mole is a beauty spot a natural phenomenon you know people you know wouldn't round houses in a, a, a beautiful village with virile forest and foraging isn't that a true beauty spot um and protecting and, and extending and bringing in education and learning uh, around and near an ancient site that really would respect those ancestors and the era of those ancestors. And I mean, if you want, if you want C, if you want apartment blocks, there's Dublin C. You know, it just happens that this place is just out of Dublin, but it is the ancient site. I mean, fill everywhere, fill Ireland with apartment blocks, but why not? have a sacred area around this dolmen and not just say, well, just the dolmen and the trees, you know, say, come on, um, it, it needs to, 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 to not infringe and intrude into that sacred space, and, you know, why not respect it with, I mean, it's the education part. This place is doing very, very well. It's got great attention to detail, great quality. They get great people in. It's not one of those ancient visitor centres that, you know, does really rubbish and, you know, then, you know, it goes into disrepair and no one hardly goes because no one where it knows where it is. It's not like the Iceni village that they had in Suffolk, which, you know, just didn't get any visitors and no one knew about it. You've got Dublin City. So it's not that far out of Dublin to sleep in Dublin and drive out, right? Now, therefore, it's going to get people going to it and they can go to it out of the city of Dublin within half an hour or not that long, to an hour or whatever it takes to get there. So you don't actually need overnight staying um, there, I Because they can stay in Dublin, that you can't, there's plenty of places that can build that apartment block, right? I, the, look, the, the, you could even get music artists in and have music at these places, like if you've got these ancient recreation places, you can have like the horse lips, you can have like, there's some amazing music that is, you know, ancient music, or even if you call it the islands music, you know, like Saltfish 40. Ireland loves music. I mean, look at Doolin. Doolin's got a little cafe, but people are meant to go for the music. I went to there and there was no one there. It wasn't on a day when they had music, but it's meant to be this special magical music place you go to. You know, I mean, why aren't the very, very... Where are all these famous Dublin musicians coming out of the woodwork? You know, they could do things there. What I don't get is, where, where is the edge? Where is Bono? It's a female crack with a with a rock hard dolmen in it. Where is the edge? Where is Bono with the cash? Show me the money. They're meant to be a Dublin band. This is like Dublin ancient prehistory. I mean, they've been building apartment blocks in Spain or God knows where. I mean. Where are all these musicians coming out of the woodwork the, 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 and with the school kids, you know, Bono's hugging. It may be Bono, if it's not Africa, he's not interested. If it's not poverty, he's not interested. I mean, get get them over. Get get the, um, you know, get, get, the, get the foreign exchange students over even, you know. I mean, over here. We've had it fought. We've got we've got Chinese everywhere over here. We ain't got no option. They've even been knocking down our heritage and buildings to build them some um, university buildings, but not on the where the ancient sites are though. But I mean, I mean, look at all these university people they've got. Um, I mean, you could even do building ancient tracks. How uh, there's loads of archaeologists in Ireland who've been researching ancient trackways and how they were constructed ancient irish trackways how they were constructed i mean you could have a little thing there showing them how the ancient trackways were constructed in different types of them not the standard box standard council or we'll put a bit of modern trackway down with a couple of two before whatever it is down in the dolmen 
you know, I want to see these woven um, pathways, like, protected from the rain naturally with trees growing over the top, and then if there's any bits that, that can't be covered, you know, then let's see some example. Get the school kids there building ancient trackways. This is Ireland. Who are we? Where have we come from? You know, um, how did we get here? Who are these people? We are Ireland, you know. This is... The, these ancient druids could do this astronomy and look at the Howard Crowhurst evidence. They could measure exact locations over longitude and latitude over great distances from Karnak to Ireland, you know, from, from Orkney to Karnak, all these places perfectly lining up that Howard Crowhurst have got. These people were intelligent, you know, to, to all these alignments for Stonehenge. This is who these people are. You know, it, 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 I'm not saying that Ireland doesn't have a few of these places, but you need to be strategic, you know. And unfortunately, it's Ken Holmes who are being strategic and coming on the table just because, oh, we've just made a million pounds so we can do what we want. All right, walk into the council office, bang it on the there you go, another apartment block. Wow, we've, it's like a little burger-making conveyor belt. Oh, burger, 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 burger. Oh, like, you know, 500M uh, tower block, 500M tower block. Can't stop me. No, I'm having a good time. I'm having a ball, you know. You can't object against it. Where are they getting the money from? Because they're selling them. Profit, profit, profit. I like Frank. Uh, his attitude. Do I have, oh, you drove the school children. Th this is more than drove the school children. This is quality. This is like the, the quality of... Ireland, the history of Ireland, he ain't no tacky stuff. Like I said, when Bono goes on, he's maybe representing Ireland. He, he don't go on with, you know, the, his jacket falling to bits, you know. He, he only has the best sunglasses and the best jacket, you know, and does the best singing. Even when Graham Norton has him on, you know, and they catch him out and they all, you know, they do a surprise thing on him and he has to sing a song, like, with surprise, I didn't even prepare for it. And then, like, you know, he's got this, this top quality singing. It's like, where is the top quality Irish craftsmanship of the ancients? This is the thing, you know. Um, where to do it, that is the place to do it. Where else? Where else would you do it if it weren't on the spare bit of land that is surrounding the perimeter of the big vagina crack? In the Earth, with a big dolmen, where else on the entire face of planet Earth would you do it? I mean, they went to Karnak because it had specific... All right, so, right, let's go back, right? 5000 BC or whenever it is, right? Dragging massive stones, right, to Karnak and lining them up perfectly because that is the exact only place on the face of the planet that has this exact alignment according to our, our Crowhurst, right? Um, you know, he, 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 want, he didn't want to turn it up with a power tool and hard hat, knocking out, you know, council, standard council procedures. The, 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 the moving, they're moving the earth. I mean, do you expect any less than, you know, look, it's a go oh, look, it's Cairnums with a, you know, a rucksack and a sandwich box, what you got in there? Oh, two pasties and a cheese sandwich. Sweet Jesus, you know, he hasn't seen dragging a stone around. Well, I've just built a 500 uh, apartment block, yeah, with like a, a digger and a couple of machinery. Like, well, these people are dragging him around with the bare hands, you know, it's quality stuff. He's, they're still there, they still exist thousands of years later. Um, you know, all, some of the tracks even still, it, it, it's quality. They've got university people in on it, you know, it, it, it. where are the investors? I mean, look at that. There's a there's that Dragon Hill Fort for sale in Devon, which is literally like a massive hill fort that's shaped like a dragon, and the, the hill fort pats on the head of it. Oh, that's the real pen dragon. You know, there's this dragon's den looking for people pitching projects. It's only for sale for £100,000. I'd buy it if I won the lottery. Well, if I won the jackpot on the lottery, I'd buy that hill fort for £100,000. You know, um, you know, he ain't even recognise any. It's, what is the name of it? Hembury. Well, it's not called Hembury. It's, it, it's the actual Pendragon Hill Fort. You know, no matter what anyone tells you, the, the line. You know, it, it, it where is the quality in life? 